this book is called Authentically Black. What mm -hmm. is it, and where did you get the title? Well, I don't know where that title came from, actually, because for me, the titles are always hard, and they always come out of some, some bizarre, quick inspiration. I honestly, even now, must not have been that long ago, I don't remember how I came up with the title. But what I mean by it is that I think nowadays a great many black Americans are caught in a kind of a bind. There is a sense that to be authentically black, to have a kind of sophistication about your color, that your job is to emphasize black victimhood in public. Your job is, I hate to say it, but to exaggerate the extent of your victimhood in public. And in general, when race issues come up, when white people are around, you are supposed to cloak the race in tragedy and downplay the progress that has been made. The idea is that we're not all the way there and that whites are on the hook, as it's often put. Don't let white people off of the hook. And the reason for this is because it's often felt by many people in a certain level of their consciousness, that if whites are let off the hook, if whites start getting too comfortable, then that will spell the death of the black community, or at least the part of the black community that's been left behind. When did you first start thinking like this? Um, really at about 12, but it's become especially clear in my mind over about the past about two or three years, and that was just the first part. The second part is that this is not the way black people talk to each other. This is not what you hear at one of our Thanksgivings or at one of our Christmases. This victim routine is not something that the typical African-American feels in their bones. It's not something that you pass on to your children. Most black Americans, I would venture, in private, when we're just among ourselves, sound an awful lot like Shelby Steele, sound an awful lot like Clarence Thomas. None of that stuff is difficult. Most of it is quite logical. But there's a sense that you're supposed to have a different idea when you go out in public, and that informs what we see so much of in terms of the black presentation of a black condition. And that's what I mean by authentically black. There's a sense that you're not authentically black unless you are in touch with your victimhood. And while this is understandable, it creates a lot of cognitive dissonance. I think it distracts a lot of young people from educating themselves both in the literal way and in how to get along in a less than perfect but still very promising world for them. And I think that we need to address that. It's the kind of thing that needs to be given a name. It's this new black double consciousness. I'd like to see that end. I'd like to work against that. I would like to help put a meme into our general consciousness that will spread, which identifies this and starts questioning what we really mean with our public statements.